100% of your credit score is based on you interacting with debt. Your FICO score is not determined by you winning financially. You could get, your boss could walk in today, he's not going to, she's not going to, and say, you now make a million dollars a year, and your FICO score will not change one point. The phone could ring, and your grandmother could say your rich uncle that you didn't know you had just died and left you $10 million, and your FICO score will not change one point. Your FICO score is not a sign you are winning with money. It's a sign you have played kissy face with the bank. It is based on the debt that you have, the debt load, the type of debt, the length of time you've had the debt, the ratio of the debt to your income, how you have paid the payments on your debt. It is an I love debt score. Mathematically speaking, the algorithm says that you, the way to have a 750 or 810 FICO score, the only way to have that is to really, really love debt. You have to keep a lot of it, and you have to pay it. It will cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars over a decade to build a FICO score and keep a FICO score of 800 because it's the only way that FICO score is calculated. It is not an I'm winning with money score. It's an I love to support the bank because they're so awesome score. In other words, it's dumber than a freaking rock. So here's what happens. When you quit borrowing money and you paid off all of your debt and you don't have a single account open, your FICO score will disappear within about a year. As a matter of fact, they will treat you like you have um, moved to Mars, like you have one eye in the center of your head. Your FICO score is now undeterminable. Ooh. You mean you can't determine that I haven't borrowed money? I think it just means it's zero, but it's undeterminable. Ooh. It's like going to the airport. It's a terminal. I don't want to do things that are terminal. I want to do things that bring me life. If they say you have terminal cancer, that's not good. But we go to the airport and we call it a terminal. Undeterminable. Oh. 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 Sounds spooky. It's a problem. So years ago, I quit borrowing money. So I haven't had a FICO score in like 30 years. Um, I'm not really here. I'm off the grid. This is actually a hologram. I don't really exist <laughs> because according to you people, I don't have a FICO score, so I'm a nobody. But uh, according to my banker, I'm a nobody with millions of dollars in her bank. Uh, so, uh, and I still have a zero FICO score, a non-undeterminable FICO score. And guess who just joined the club? It's my zero FICO score day. <laughs> We sold our house in May, took about five and a half months, and my FICO score is zero. That was your only debt. Yep. And you sold the house. The mortgage is gone. Yep. You're you're a renter. Yep. Temporarily. Temporarily right now until you figure out the housing market and what you're going to do. And uh, from May to basically end of November, beginning of December, I uh, have not had a single piece of activity and zero accounts open of any kind and no lates on there and no bad debts on there, obviously. And uh, that's how long it took for your FICO score to evaporate. Yes, it's gone. And it's so funny. The email was like basically like, oh, we don't know what happened. This happens sometimes, but we can help you correct it. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes horrible things happen to people, and we're here to help. We're from FICO. Right. You're debt-free? Wait, what? We can help you get back in debt? You haven't made offerings to the great gods of FICO. You need to make (laughs) offerings of interest. Oh, great FICO, you are the provider of all good things. We bring you offerings of interest so that we can buy anything we want on credit later. So you borrow money. Why? So that your FICO scores up score goes up why so that you can borrow more money so why because your fico score goes up so why so you can borrow more money i had a dog that used to chase its tail and he was crazy (laughs) and this culture does it every day and you're free i'm free man it feels good it's kind of nerve-wracking 
like when it, when you're in that process of waiting for it to go to zero. We were talking about this about a month ago. You're going, are you sure it's going to go away? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not sure of anything with FICO, except that when you quit borrowing money, eventually they're going to cause you to say you don't exist. Yeah. I was like, Dave, how long? How many more weeks? How many more months? And he was just I, like, just I, stay the course, Christina. I said, like, I think it's going to be a year. Because I, I, at that point, so made, so what is it? Seven, eight months. Yeah. Something like that for yeah. it to go away, right? Five, six, six, seven months. Mm-hmm. Seven months. Yeah. For it to go away before. And, and it went down before that. Yeah. It had a good like 100 What did it start drop. at? Uh, Up I in the 700. It, yeah. Like 700 range. Yeah, all right. And, and it's because you'd paid your mortgage on time. You'd paid mm-hmm. everything on time. And then you got That's out of same. debt. Yep. And then you sold the house. And so you went from 700. So you had a fabulous, by all standards, FICO score. And it eroded. It went down to 600s. Yeah. Did and we're still in the, the house. Did it go into the 500s? I mean, I wasn't. You checking. were checking it. I was. I was just waiting you were for my zero. You're asking me about it. It's scaring me. It's getting low. <laughs> well, I was just waiting for emails. I was waiting for the email that said zero, and so they sent me an email saying that it had been updated. And so I was like, "Ooh, it's zero. And then I went, and it was like six hundred. And I was like, "Oh, being in the housing market, that's kind of yeah, nerve wracking." Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. Someday I want to buy a house, and I can't do that with a six hundred. When's this thing gonna go to zero, Dave? And I'm like, <laughs> I, all the data that we have, all the you know, all you people out there that we work with, all the stuff you send us, everything we keep up with from you guys, the research, we don't know because FICO doesn't publish their algorithms, right? They don't tell us what the thing is. But just observing people that have done what you do, it takes six months to a year. And yours took seven months. Yep. Followed the path. Here and George, George had a zero FICO score, went and got a mortgage with manual underwriting with Churchill Mortgage. And so if you're going to go get a mortgage with Churchill Mortgage and you have a zero credit score and undeterminable, they will write you a mortgage. And it's exactly the same rate as if you had a 7 or an 800 FICO score. Only they have to do stuff like do manual underwriting. So they have to verify that you have money with your bank. They have to verify that you have a job, which is what they ought to freaking be doing anyway. (laughs) What are you doing giving people a loan based on one number? You go, I'm going to loan you $800,000 for a house. Why? Because you have one number that says FICO, FICO, FICO. Oh, that's so crazy. It's, it's crazy how and our system it. rewards debt and people who are it's doing more. It's debt. more than rewards it. I mean, by God, it manipulates it and causes it. Mm. People just, I mean, because I've been doing this for 30 years. The amount of hate mail and hate crap I get to this day telling people to not borrow money and get rid of their stupid kissy face, I love debt score is crazy. I'm keeping my credit cards open because Dave Ribsy doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, he's only got several hundred million dollars, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. God, man, it's dumber than a rock. Just dumber than a freaking rock.